I'm Skywarn 7 meteorologist Dan Zarrow. Windy, warm, and wet. That's what this Friday forecast is all about. I'll show you what to expect coming up. We do have a potential for tornadoes. And again, that area of concern is right here, just north of Colony in northern Washita County, heading off into northern Caddo County. So, you know, I think I can do that for you. In fact, it'll be, it'll be a whole degree cooler today than it was oh, yesterday. Well, don't be too picky here. <laughs> if your severe weather safe place doesn't have a light or if your power goes out, this will keep you from staying in the dark. Temperatures will actually drop once the storm hits, drop to 31, 30 degrees, and that's when we have the potential for seeing winter weather. So we're riding this roller coaster of autumn here, ups and downs. We have a few more days on the up before we head way down to the cold again. Driving today will still be very slick, very slippery, and very hazardous. All of those schools and businesses are closed for a reason today. That's because if you don't need to be out driving on this Friday morning, just stay at home. And now, your 7-Minute Weather Guarantee with meteorologist Dan Zero. A potentially stormy day ahead for the Southern Plains today. Here's what to expect in your Skywarn 7 forecast. Once again today, looking very warm on the humid side and also windy, just like yesterday with those gusts over 30 miles per hour. And then we look at a chance for severe thunderstorms moving in later today in the afternoon and evening hours. And then as we get into the weekend, there is a chance for more rain. Hopefully it won't affect your Memorial Day weekend plans, but we'll talk about that in the seven day forecast. Across Texoma this morning, a few clouds streaming through associated with some showers and sprinkles out in the southern Texas panhandle. As for our temperatures this morning, very warm. And with the humidity, it's feeling very steamy out there too. 73 degrees right now in Lawton, Duncan, and up to Chickasha, 75 degrees still in Wichita Falls. We're still holding about 10 to 15 degrees above normal this morning. And this is as cool as it's going to get today. So you know it's going to be a warm and humid day ahead of us. A typical day on the southern plains here as we have a dry line setting up out in the Texas panhandle. We're humid right now. We're in that moist air, all that humidity come up from the Gulf of Mexico, but just out to the west in West Texas and out into New Mexico, some very dry air there. So the difference between these two densities sets up this dry line, and that is going to be assisted by a little weak disturbance that comes through this afternoon. Put all that together, and that will create a chance for thunderstorms, not just thunderstorms, but severe thunderstorms this afternoon. Again, typical day, spring day here on the Southern Plains. So let's look at Skywarn 7 Futurecast, starting with a few clouds, generally just warm and humid through a good part of the day. But as we get late into the afternoon, peak heating when the sun is highest in the sky and temperatures are at their peak, five o'clock this afternoon, off that dry line, we see showers and thunderstorms forming. And what starts as a little shower can quickly become a severe thunderstorm. And as we get into the evening hours, looks like they're going to pulse down very quickly. So just that little window from about 4 p.m. to 10 p.m., a chance for severe weather tonight. And then tomorrow morning, we start off on the warm side again, and we do it all over again with a warm, humid day with a chance for thunderstorms. So we do have a chance for severe weather today. In the area in yellow here, which is basically our entire viewing area, could see large hail, could see damaging winds. Tornadoes a possibility, although better chances up here in western Kansas in the orange area where we're looking at scattered severe weather rather than just a few isolated distinct storms, which is what we're expecting today, mainly in our western counties. So strong thunderstorms possible, going severe quite quickly. Of course, we'll be watching that carefully. 91 degrees in Lawton and Duncan, 92 degrees today in Wichita Falls back up to 94 in Graham. Tonight, those thunderstorms moving out warm and humid again. Look for a low of 72 in Lawton, Wichita Falls, 70 in Altus this evening. And here's your Skywarn seven day forecast. Friday looking hot again, 94 degrees with again that chance for afternoon and evening severe weather. As we move into the weekend, a bigger, more broad storm system moves in with a chance for more widespread rainfall, but those chances have gone down. It doesn't look like it's going to be heavy, steady rain all weekend, just on and off. And of course, that's some good news for those who are celebrating the Memorial Day weekend, especially since the only chances for severe weather in this forecast look to be today and tomorrow and not the weekend. Mm, looks a little better. There. Yes, it does. All right. Thanks, Dan. Good evening to you once again. I'm Skywarn 7 meteorologist Dan Zaro. As you saw crawl across your screen, now have a tornado warning for southern Jackson and northern Wilbarger counties, indicating a very dangerous storm right along the Red River between Jackson and Wilbarger counties. Let's get you the latest on Skywarn 7 Storm Tracker. Here's a look at that storm. It's just crossing the Red River into northern Wilbarger County right in here. Uh, we could have hail up to the size of softballs. And uh, in addition to the rotation that we're now seeing approaching the town of Odell in northern in Will addition Barger to County. that threat for tornadoes with this tornado warning, we are going to see 
probably some gigantic hail. That's the official uh, designation for it here in southern Jackson County. It's just that area just about to cross over the river into Texas. Uh, but I wouldn't be surprised if we're seeing some baseball to softball sized hail. And when we see updrafts that strong with a thunderstorm like this, when we see the large hail that big baseball to softball size, uh, an incredible updraft means an incredible downdraft. What goes up must come down. Uh, so again, that threat for tornado and winds uh, certainly still present as the storm comes into northern Wilbarger we'll County. We certainly have to be inside that storm to see those strong winds. Uh, we'll take a look at our velocity product again on kind of a wider view so I can show you that this big area of pink where we see some strong winds in excess of 58 miles per hour is almost coming down to Vernon. So folks in Vernon, you want to be staying indoors already, even though this storm is still a little while away from you. Uh, speaking of which, let's go ahead and put a storm track on it here uh, so you can see when it's coming again north southeast at about 20 miles per hour. It'll be into the Wilbarger County Airport at about 8.03 and Vernon at 8.16. So Vernon, we're still talking in the next half hour to 45 minutes for you here, but uh, still certainly a, uh, a dangerous storm as it continues heading your way. There's a lot of things encased in ice on this cold morning from grass to trees, cars, and even this parallel parking uh, banister at the Oklahoma Highway Patrol with the icicles hanging down. The freezing rain that came through overnight, we saw some ice develop, but the one thing that's not really icy are those roads out there. We do see wet roads, so they are still quite slippery. We're seeing icy patches, but considering that we just uh, were in the middle of an ice storm here for 24 to 36 hours already, the roadways are doing very well. The salt and sand crews have been out there and have done a great job clearing off those major roads. And so your commute this morning, not looking too bad. You do, of course, want to take it nice and slow as you head out on this Monday morning. Leave plenty of distance between you and the car in front of you, just in case you do slip or in case you do need to stop but uh, overall here in Lawton at least things are looking very clear also make sure you leave yourself plenty of time uh, to clean off your car and warm it up if you didn't go anywhere yesterday that is probably encased in ice too so again just use common sense today and you will do just fine on those Texoma roadways reporting live from Lawton I'm Skywarn 7 meteorologist Dan Zaro for 7 News May 4th, 2007 is a day the residents of Greensburg, Kansas will never forget. That's the day an EF5 tornado with estimated wind gusts over 200 miles per hour literally blew this town away. But now, one year later, this town is building back in a big way. The sound of hammering is common on the streets of Greensburg today, even though most of this small, rural Kansas town remains a barren landscape of scattered debris, mighty elm trees stripped of their leaves and branches, and abandoned homes that are barely standing. While the population of Greensburg before the storm was about 1,400, only half that number remain, most of whom are still living in trailers provided by FEMA. John Jansen became mayor of Greensburg only about a month after the storm hit and has overseen much of the town's rebuilding effort. We spent basically the first three months as the mechanical thing was just hauling stuff out. Uh, they hauled 39,000 loads of rubble out of here. We were kicking around, you know, we got to rebuild this thing right. You know, we've, we've got nothing, we've got a clean slate, why would you screw it up, you know, because if you want to rebuild it like it was, Downtown, you needed to include plywood and just board the windows up because you got tired of the buildings because that's where we were headed. It was a rural town in decline. And so we talked about it. And we said, you know, let's, let's put the town back green. Greensburg, a green city with help from FEMA, the USDA, and other state and federal agencies, the Greensburg City Council came up with a plan explaining how to turn this clean slate into a sustainable, energy efficient, environmentally friendly community. Uh, we decided, you know, we need to, to convince people, do it better, put a smaller footprint on the environment, you know, put it together right, and, and, the, and the economics of it will justify what you're doing. From harnessing solar and wind energy to power the town, to encouraging the use of eco-friendly building materials, to creating a thriving downtown area, every step Greensburg has taken in rebuilding is aimed toward growth, community, prosperity, and the environment. 
It's an amazing plan, which Mayor Jansen believes will yield amazing results. I think we're just right at the edge of having a huge building boom again. I think we'll build another 150 houses this summer. And so, I mean, that part's going to spring to life. My prognostication is in five years we'll have 2,500 people because it's going to be a place that people will want to live. Well, we have um, our system up in here, and that's going to be pushing into the area, which will cause the snow, maybe, maybe, some snow. Um, no, no real accumulation, really. Um, that shouldn't be until midnight, however.